like that. Now, I thought you were the one blowing that harmonica. That you or not? That's me. Uh, see, what you want? That's all y'all young bucks want to do is copy somebody, take somebody else's stuff and claim it's yours. You know, don't be sampling. That's what you're supposed to do. No, you ain't supposed to be sampling. <laughs> That's what America built on. Well, this is the United States, man. This is not America, okay? Well, that's what the United States is built. You take what, what somebody else got and make it your. Damn, hey, man, don't talk about my country like that, man. I'm just telling the truth about your country. I get in where you fit in. <laughs> Damn, you know, he just hit me in the gut, folks. But it's still my damn country. All right. All right, that's still my country, man. That's cool. Yeah. So are you telling the truth on my country? Yeah, I'm telling the truth, though. Damn. What did we take, man? Man, what, what don't y'all take, man? <laughs> we got that from the British, man. Yeah, I see. Yeah, that's who did it, man, you know. They're getting ready to take this country back, too, man. That's why they married that, that girl, uh, what's her name? Mark, Mark Mom. Angela, what's that girl name? The uh, one that married Edwards. Megan, something. Yeah, Megan, yeah, yeah. She, yeah. Why the hell you think that? That's all, that's what that's what they do, man. They see something they want, they send the daughter out or the son, out, and they will capture that, man. And so she is an American citizen, okay. And so they got American, they got a child, <laughs> and she did not, as to my knowledge, renounce her citizenship. So the next thing you know, he gonna be up in here telling. D'Angelo, what to do, man, Junior. You got to, that's why we got to fight for him. I ain't going to tell nobody what to do. Yeah, he is, man. So All right, we'll see. They come in and through the back door to take over again. That's what happened, you know. All right, folks, as we continue to ride here, 312-737-48130 is the uh, calling number. You know, I got something you want to hear that my man D'Angelo's not telling y'all, you know. He uh, let you know uh, everything. You know, it's good, folks, to get in here on Saturday night, Sunday morning. You know, we've got a great show. You know, we do we do some great stuff. And uh, Angela, all of this mess you hear me talking on, DeAngelo is the one who tell me, hey, man, this is what I want you to do. You know, he's my assistant producer, associate producer, or whatever. You know, and then I, I said, man, I don't want to do that. And then he said, no, you got to do it. I said, okay, brother. So, you know, that, that's why you hear me talking crazy sometimes. You hear me talking about Tupac and all the rest of them. Every now and then, because that's what he wanted me to do is talk about the, the uh, his generation. <laughs> that's what he called. That's your generation, right? No, not Tupac. You, you don't like Tupac? Oh, yeah. You, you, I mean, he's cool, but it ain't uh, my generation. Uh, okay. Now, how old are you? I'm 25. How old is Tupac? I'm 25. I was born in 93. No, I said Tupac. How the hell would he be today? It would be like 40-something. Well, okay, I was wondering. Okay, yeah. Y'all all jitterbugs, you know. Hell, uh. But Born anyway. like 77 or something like that, 76 or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, time flies, man, you know. Let's read the piece here. Yo, what'd you think about R. Kelly, man, Robert? What you talking about? You know, they out to get him, so they going to get him, man. Oh, yeah, when they when they own you and they want you, they going to get you. Can you imagine? Okay, then Cook County was almost uh, whatever those times had passed. Then all of a sudden... Then they keep running them in and out of court. Now all of a sudden, here comes New York. <laughs> Not only New York, federal. <laughs> I got a yeah, cousin. Once the feds come, it's over with. Yeah, I got to have a cousin, man, who just retired from the from the fed. You know, he was the lawyer. What he got to be a federal prosecutor's office out there, and you know, he took care of him, Nebraska or Colorado, I guess, and all that area. And he was telling me, man, when we talk about Jesse Jr., he said, look here, something will stick because they throw so much crap at you, you know. If you ask me if I ever told a lie, what am I going to say? I can't say I never told a lie because I have lied. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, did I steal a piece of chicken? I never stole a piece of chicken. I never, you know, did anything like that. But, hell, you know, you uh, that's where we are today, though, boy. I mean, when they come after you. So I don't think Robert's gonna get out of this with it because he'll be broke when he uh, if he does, you know, get through. But God bless him. You know, I'm gonna play some of his music tonight anyway. Hell, he's a hell of an artist. You know, you can't take that away from him. I don't know whatever what he did or didn't do. I wasn't there. You know, you're listening to classic blues and R&B on WVON 1690 AM. 
You're listening to Classic Blues and R&B with Sir Henry. Yes, it is. Help 
one It's tearing at my heart Please light away Hold your lamp high So the light of the world can reach the darkness Hold your lamp high So the light of the world can touch the broken Hold your lamp high So the light of the world can heal the wounded Hold your lamp Hi, this is Shamika Copeland, and you're listening to Classic Blues and R&B with Sir Henry Cheatham on 1690 WVON AM Chicago. I'll do anything that you want me to do.
right. Take the rest of the day off. <laughs>
apologize for not uh, acknowledging this when I first came on the air this evening. Uh, the services of Mr. Munir Muhammad was today. They had a uh, viewing over at the Crow it's headquarters at 71st in the uh, right off Weston over there. Uh, anyway, uh, on Monday, July 15th, at the House of Hope, they will have a memorial service celebration for Manir Muhammad, who passed away this week. And uh, House of Hope is located at 752 East 114th Street. Well, Manir Muhammad was a uh, communicator. He did quite a few television programs. He uh, did, you know, covered a lot of a lot of topics. A lot of folks uh, that was uh, in his studio that they built over there. And Crow is to uh, continue the remembrance of uh, Elijah Muhammad, uh, Honorable Elijah Muhammad. But anyway, he did a good job with that, uh, with his channel. He was, he, uh, was uh, consistent with it. And he, like I and many others, you know, we uh, do programs on cable television on uh, Channel 19. It's a great vehicle for, if you don't know it, folks. It's a place where you can go, and uh, in fact, right now I have a show on. <laughs> One of my shows is on that's you know rebranded it. They uh, shot him the other day, and it's uh, called "Here We Are." Is the name of my program on Channel 19. Well, um, Manir was also on 1921 mostly, and my program is "Here We Are." Check it out. Uh, I do put them up on my YouTube channel, and that's Henry CB. Check us out over there. Follow us on Twitter. WVON Henry, and also at Henry underscore Cheatham. You can follow us on Twitter and like our Facebook page here on uh, Classic Blues and RB. And we, we post our programs up, and you can always take them with you whenever and wherever you go. You'll have some great American music, music worthy of uh, your listening to. You heard me, uh, you heard uh, Johnny Taylor, I Believe in You, Sh- Shamika Copeland, uh, Great Rains heard on that album, is with uh, on that cut, is uh, John Primer. You also heard uh, the new cut that I just got. Uh, you heard Deb Ryder, too, Hold Your Lamp High. That's from her CD, Let It Rain, Delta Grooves uh, CD. Uh, Big John Commons, this cheating gone wrong. Everything was fine until he looked up and saw that uh, hey, his wife had some desire too. She had a, a, a joke on the side as well, you know. So she did her thing there. And you heard uh, Audrey Turner, crazy about you. And also, you also heard Eddie Cotton tonight as well. Je ne sais quoi. Oh, it's. CD, one at a time on Malico. All here on Classic Blues and R&B, folks. We do this great American music every week. You know, we do it, you know, and we uh, enjoy doing it, too. You get a chance to go to university one time, you know, you so you come on over there. Go to the university one time? Yeah, yeah at least you got to go one time. Oh, uh, you got jokes. <laughs> Oh, you didn't think that was funny, huh? No, I don't think that was funny. <laughs> Since I'm trying to bust you out, right? I don't think I was club either. <laughs> well, what do you what what do you think it was, man? I mean, <laughs> I mean, you don't think you? I mean, I mean, you know, I mean, what's the deal, man? You know, what's the deal? You know, you gonna tell me the deal or not? No deal. All right. All right, back to some more music here on classic blues and R and B. You ready over there, Slick? Hey, Slick. Yeah, but find find the uh, the uh, cash box king. Build that wall. I want my wall built. Now I don't need my wall built. I just want to lock them up. Now I don't want to lock them up because that's costing me money. Well, which just, one you want? Lock them up or build a wall? Get rid of. Them. Uh, I don't know if I can find that one. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. You're listening to Classic Blues at R and B, folks. So WVO at 1690 AM. <laughs>
bunch of crap Now we can mock the head to cap And when we're done with that, let's go and do this Come on now, you will see, let's build that wall. 